in stories, whether it's stories of what you've done in the past, what your ancestors have done. Everyone has a story. It's the stories we hear and the stories we tell that help us make sense of the world. I don't know what I think until I write. Readers and Writers Esperance 2021 arose out of discussions to bring a writer's festival to Esperance. Esperance Community Arts adapted it to have a focus on skills development and promotion of local authors. With a focus on creating opportunities for local writers to develop skills and networks, the festival ran over a five-month period. Part of my vision for having a readers and writers event was to really showcase local people. I wanted to see all the people come out of the network and see just what we had in Esperance. I really love people's stories. I love hearing about people's stories and I like to write them and share them. And how long did it take you to write the book? So there's lots of people writing in Esperance, probably a surprising number of writers actually. It needed to have long-term benefits for our community and bring together visual artists, writers and musicians. five-month program integrated a number of community projects and was presented by a combination of visiting and local authors. I just love the program. We've got such a variety. For people who are interested in writing in the community, there really will be something in the program that they can hook into. There's so many different genres represented and so many different skill levels as well. And the wonderful thing is that so many things are free, so you're not wasting anything. You just come and have a shot at it and, and meet some interesting people and tell your story as well. If we get together that all the Esperance writers and bring in people who've succeeded in writing from further abroad in Western Australia, it just fosters that sort of art form. The radio plays were a key element that participants built on over the five months. I actually went to the session just to watch other people and how they were going to go about writing their radio play, only to discover that I was going to be writing one too. I would not have completed my radio play had it not been for some very caring champions. There was this sense that everyone was supporting everyone else. One participant's radio play experience led to a whole new way of engaging with and presenting her written work, originally developed for theatre. So I actually learned how to use the Audacity program, um, which I found wonderfully creative. And, uh, and I then actually set about uh, uh, recording a whole body of my work and put sound effects, music and so on to it. She attended the script writing workshops on the assumption that someone else with the technical skills would be preparing her play for radio, but then took up the opportunity to learn how to record and edit it herself with the support of Hope FM Community Radio. At a point in her life where she felt she could no longer commit to the demands of theatre productions, this project opened up the possibility 
of presenting her work in digital formats for radio instead. The five-month program also included opportunities to develop a range of other skills, as well as creating opportunities for building social networks. Putting the collages and the pictures together to make a scene out of a scene, that was interesting to do. Uh, making those books, we got some old books, pulled them apart and used the covers to make new books out of, put pages in them and binded them together. It got me out meeting people and gave us common interest, which was good because I generally just sit at home. Well, it did help with my depression. I think I enjoyed the interaction with other people as well as the skill learning. Um, just bouncing ideas off of everyone and just generating new things between us. The workshops fostered social connection, well-being, sharing stories, building networks, building confidence and professional development. The workshops extended far beyond the actual workshop time. So instead of just doing something once and then forgetting about it, we actually got to practice it ourselves, teach other people, go to open studio and we could all sit there and practice. Which is great because one of the things I, I found trying to write is you're stuck in a room by yourself and you don't have that community contact. It's actually keeping you in connection with the community. One Saturday morning we were doing a journaling type workshop where we just got a topic and wrote for 10 minutes and it was fantastic because uh, my head was everywhere and it got me an opportunity to just settle my mind. Writing for mindfulness is a really important thing. So to have a group of 20 writers in there, some published, some not, some only just even thinking of writing, it was fantastic to have that whole range in that network. So a lot of the authors and the, the workshop facilitators, they had knowledge that just wasn't readily available anywhere else. And we all had different strengths and different knowledge, so being able to contribute even a little bit of knowledge was fantastic for those of us who haven't been published. And we'll just go from there, and I'll set the timer again, we'll just go for another five minutes, and again the same writing approach. It was centred around the theme of writing, whereas you, if you talk in most clubs it's not actually on writing, the process of writing. Um, it's more about did you read this book or did you read that book. Um, the actual process of writing, it, it's hard to find a group that you can talk to. So that networking and being able to join together, it is incredibly important I think. At the end of the five months of workshops, a weekend festival provided the platform for participants to showcase and present their work. A selection of local authors, some published, some not, were part of panels and presentations on stage at the Bijou Theatre, alongside visiting authors from Perth, Albany and Denmark. Kim Scott, award-winning author, 2012 Western Australian of the Year, and 2019 inductee into the WA Writers Hall of Fame. Also my cousin. <laughs> I'm very grateful to be introduced like that. I'm very pleased to be here. The panels included writers and authors from across the South Coast, building a regional network of diverse cultures and backgrounds writing across a multitude of genres and formats. Um, being on the panel was then, with them was really good because I don't really like talking in public. But yeah, I was really, really comfortable with them. I felt like we bounced off each other when we were on stage. It was really good to have the diversity of authors that were there, talking to people, giving them advice. I think talking about the things I'd done wrong and what I shouldn't have done was helpful for people sitting in the audience. To see local authors and writers sitting with the professional um, authors on panels, holding their own, uh, speaking from you know, their own experience was a really powerful thing, I think, to see. I had no idea there were so many writers in Esperance. Having the festival at the end where other people could come in and see what everybody had done was great because that got it out into the wider community.
The sharing of skills was amazing. It was no trouble for anyone to just share what they, they knew. Twelve local schools also participated in the project, hosting five visiting authors and illustrators and two local authors to run workshops and give presentations for students of all ages as part of the final event at the end of May. The feedback from school staff and students was very positive and included many requests for more opportunities like this. We had two young guys came up and thanked us for our for what we spoke about and that it really intrigued them and and then there was another young writer and she spoke about how she went to Perth to present this book and how scary it was because she was quite young to to travel to Perth and to get up on stage and talk about it. It's okay to be scared. It is really helpful when you're on stage. Everybody has just been astounded at the reaction from children, no matter from which demographic, that they were entertained, engaged, learning, really inspired, I think. There was something new every week. It helped with my confidence, for one thing, and self-esteem, because I got to meet new people other than work friends and talk to a range of different people. There's no judgment either. So it's a case of there's a ranging of abilities and that. There was a sense that people were building skills over time which I think is always useful, then you're likely to keep them and be able to then use them in the future. And I think that's the great thing about this project is that there is going to be some ongoing things that happen from it. This network of people who are all connected and all with the same vision, from that we now have um, a drive for people to stay connected. One of the biggest outcomes from the Readers and Writers Esperance 2021 program is the ongoing collaborations and projects between participants. This includes a new network of local writers interested in publishing their work who now meet monthly to share drafts and provide constructive feedback on each other's work. A community of readers and writers, that's, that's exactly what I'm after. So many people write alone um, and they don't show each other their writing. And to get together is encouraging because it can be incredibly scary to show someone else your writing. It's like bearing your soul. There is some magic in it. <laughs> yeah.